Hi, I'm Father David, the Executive Director of St. Anthony's Guild, and we are here to begin to celebrate the wonderful St. Jude, miracle worker, wonder worker, all of the titles, and patron of difficult situations. Oftentimes we have great devotion to St. Jude, we might not know a lot about him or some of the images of St. Jude and what they look like and what they mean. So I thought today we'd have a nice little quiz about St. Jude. And it's a multiple choice quiz, and so why don't we begin right now. First, the flame above St. Jude's head in most of the images represents A, his love of God the Father, B, the fire of his love, or C, the fact that he was present at Pentecost. The answer, C. The fact that Jude was present at Pentecost. That flame symbolizes the fire of the Holy Spirit that was sent to the apostles on Pentecost. Hope you got that right. Question number two. St. Jude had a nickname which was A. Thaddeus B. Samuel or C. Ezra. That's a little tricky one. The answer? A. St. Jude was given the nickname Thaddeus, which means a gift from God, so that he wouldn't be confused with Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus in the early church. So the early church members called him Thaddeus so that nobody would confuse him with Judas Iscariot. Interesting. Number three. Why do scripture scholars think St. Jude had a nickname? A, because many people called him by a nickname. B, there were two Jews in his neighborhood. Or C, the early church didn't want him confused with Judas Iscariot. This was a trick question because we answered it in the first the second question. And the answer is C, the early church didn't want him confused with Judas Iscariot. Next question, which is one of the most prominent symbols for St. Jude, and why is it used? A, the leather belt that he wears as a sign of health. B, the white tunic he wears as a sign of purity. Or C, the medallion that's in front of him as a sign of a healing miracle that took place for a king. The answer? C. King Abgar of Turkey was suffering from a serious illness during the time of Jesus. He had heard of Jesus as healing others and called for Jesus to heal him. The legend says that Jesus pressed his face against the cloth and gave it to St. Jude to present to King Abgar. Upon receiving the cloth, King Abgar was healed. In a vision once, Christ told St. Bridget, in accordance with his name, St. Jude Thaddeus, the loving, will show you that he is always willing to give you help. And that's the most important thing that we believe about St. Jude. It's not just about the various symbols that are around St. Jude, but it's that St. Jude will give you help. He is always there to help you, always. So join the Franciscan Friars as we begin to celebrate this great feast of this great person in our history and this great saint in heaven who is always there to help. God bless you and may all your prayers to St. Jude be answered.